Hi, I'm Nancy Hogshead Makar. Parents can relate to the situation we just saw, that dreadful fear when we lose sight of our child in the grocery store, in a crowd, or in a pool. I've always enjoyed the water. It seems like I spent half my childhood in the pool. In 1984, I had the privilege of being part of the United States Olympic team. Nancy Hogshead is taking the lead away from Anne-Marie Verstappen. Hogshead touched. Today, I'm very interested in water safety for children. Not just my own small children, but for all children. As summer arrives and the kids are out of school, the risk of drowning accidents greatly increases. Water is fun, but we need to respect it. During the next half hour, we'll show you ways to help keep your children safe when they're swimming, boating, enjoying the ocean, or just hanging around the house. Safe from drowning accidents while you weren't watching. Even Olympic champions and their families take these precautions. Getting out in the sun and into the water is what Florida is all about. They're swimming, boating, and surfing for hours of fun and exercise for children and families. But our state also leads the nation in a sobering statistic. Drowning is the leading cause of all deaths in children under the age of five in Florida, with a rate that is twice as high as most other states. More than two-thirds of these deaths occurred in residential swimming pools. Our goal today is to look at some simple ways to keep your kids safe in and around the water. This program is presented by Safe Kids Northeast Florida, a local chapter of Safe Kids Worldwide. Safe Kids Worldwide is a global network of organizations whose mission is to prevent accidental childhood injury, the leading killer of children ages 14 and under. Safe Kids Northeast Florida was founded in 2003 and is led by Wolfson Children's Hospital. Our mission is to bring together local organizations to address our area's pediatric injury prevention needs and to prevent accidental injuries. This important community presentation is made possible by the generosity of Coles through its philanthropic program, Coles Cares for Kids. Parents, we have a huge responsibility to ensure the safety of our kids. And as you know, it's a full-time job. Our young children are naturally curious, impulsive, and faster than adults. They have no idea about the dangers that are inherent in and around the water. They depend on us, the adults, their parents and caregivers to protect them from the things they don't understand. A study done by Safe Kids USA found that in drowning and near drowning events, nine out of 10 parents or caregivers said they were supervising their children at the time. Drowning is usually quick and silent. Once submerged, children lose consciousness in less than two minutes. Without oxygen, permanent brain damage occurs in four to six minutes, and brain death can result in as little as 10 minutes. For children who do survive, the consequences of near drowning can be devastating, causing permanent medical disabilities, the effects of which often result in long-lasting psychological and emotional trauma for the child and his or her family. But knowing what to do in emergency situations and acting quickly can make all the difference in the world. I knew something was terribly wrong. My two daughters and three of her playmates were outside near my swimming pool and I was inside doing some paperwork for my job and they were blowing bubbles and Kristen wandered over away from the others and the bubbles were floating over the pool and she tried to retrieve one and fell in. The five-year-old is the one that discovered Kristen under the water. The teenager pulled Kristen out and started um, first aid on Kristen. The next thing I knew, my oldest daughter came running into the house screaming, Mom, 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 something's wrong, Kristen. And I just knew by the sound of her voice that something was terribly wrong because I had never heard her scream like that. Um, and so I just ran outside and on the pool deck next to the swimming pool with my uh, youngest daughter, Kristen, who was three at the time, um, blue, purple in color with her stomach just bloated out and she was just unresponsive. We have a telephone out by our pool and I instructed the teenager to go over and call 911 while I performed uh, first aid on Kristen. And the teenager called 911 and gave them instructions to our house and what exactly was happening with Kristen. 
before 911 arrived, I was able to revive Kristen and get her to come to, but um, it was a very, very scary incident. Fortunately, it turned out very well. Kristen was fine. There was no permanent injury. Um, it was a matter of seconds before Kristen went under the water, before anybody realized what had happened. Um, it just happened in a flash. I should have been out here, you know? Shouldn't have left the side of the pool, <laughs> you know? I mean, that's the message. Since young children most often drown in a pool or spa, owners should install multiple layers of protection around pools and spas and be consistent in using them. Although Florida law only requires pool owners to use one of these three options, the best practice is to use multiple layers of protection. This layering starts with the access to the pool from doors and windows leading to the pool area. The first option under Florida law is to fit doors and windows with alarms. These alarms must not be turned off. A key deadbolt offers another layer of protection. The key should not be left in the lock. Remember, our children are clever, and after watching an adult open the lock, many of them can figure it out. The second of the three options permitted in Florida is the pool barrier fence. This four-sided isolation fence is very difficult for a child to defeat, and many experts believe the barrier fence is the most effective form of protection. It's recommended that the fence be at least five feet high and be equipped with self-closing and self-latching gates. Pool covers are the third option available. However, these must be approved covers that can support the weight of a child. Just using a cover, which is weighted around the perimeter, is extremely dangerous. When water collects on the tarp and the child slips or falls on it, the result is called cocooning. The child gets trapped in a cocoon of water, and the result is almost always drowning. Florida has implemented dual drain and dual vent legislation and recently adopted the drain cover provision of the Virginia Graham Baker Pool and Spa Safety Act. If your pool has an exposed drain, it can be covered with an approved drain cover like this one. Teach children not to play near pool drains or filters. Long hair should be secured. Rescue equipment should always be kept by the pool. A shepherd's hook is required at commercial pools. The life-saving ring is a good idea for home pools, and the pole of a leaf skimmer can be used to reach a swimmer in trouble. Pool owners should be trained in CPR and post CPR instructions poolside. If someone is in trouble in the water, call for help, throw them the life ring, and extend the shepherd's hook. Whenever children are in or around a body of water, at least one adult should be designated as the water watcher. Safe Kids Northeast Florida provides free water watcher tags to help adults increase the quality of their supervision. The tag is a reminder that the adult wearing it accepts the responsibility of sitting at the poolside and doing nothing else but watching the children in and around the pool. They are especially helpful at parties and family gatherings when adults are more likely to be distracted and they can take the guesswork out of the who's watching the kids question. The Florida Swimming Pool Association, in conjunction with state agencies and the many organizations involved with water safety, all believe that if our efforts can save the life of just one child, then everything we do is worth it. The most important thing to remember is that no matter what legislation is passed or what safety features are provided, the bottom line is always the same. The best form of protection for your child is you. Here are a few more tips for keeping children safe around your pool. After each swimming session, Make it a family tradition or habit to remove all toys from the pool and pool area and store them. The most common reason for children to accidentally fall into the pool is when